is Vicki Odell with Craft Test Dummies at the Clover Booth with the beautiful Tammy Bayer. Would you like to show us some of your new products? I would love to. I'm here demonstrating the new extra small Kansashi flowers that are new for this show. And they're a beautiful crossover flower. They work really great on mixed media projects and cards, as well as all the traditional quilting and bag making and embellishing clothing. So I'm going to show you how. First, I want to show you a sample. These are all the different designs of the flowers, and they're nice and small. Um, some of them have seed beads in them, some have buttons, I've taken some twine on other ones. So you can use almost anything in the center. I made my little ring with a little bit of bling on there for you. Um, so I'll show you how it works. It's a very simple project. This is what the little templates look like. This is the orchid template. It has a picture of the design of the flower. So once you get them out of package, you can tell which one it is. There's five different ones. And then they're numbered where your needle goes up and down, one through eight. So you take a piece of fabric, fold it on the diagonal so it's on a bias, cut around the outside, and it looks like this. And you take your needle and thread, and I use a hand quilting thread so that it it goes through real nice and easily. And it's good and strong. It is good and strong. And it's just up and down. Great TV work, traveling, waiting in the waiting room. It's one of those hand sewing things It's really easy to work with. I'm almost there, halfway. So this will make one petal, and I'm making these with six petals each. You can you have lots of decide, decisions to make how many petals you want it to be, how full you want it to be. These come in two other sizes that are larger, so you can stack them together and make a dimensional flower. And once you get it through, whoops, sorry about that. Just clip it open. And I just put my thumb right here and pull, and it gathers together one. And then we repeat it and do another one, another one, another one, until we have six, pull it together, tie it off, and you end up with a complete flower. And then you can embellish it however you want in the center, right? You can. You can put a button, you can put beads, you can put a brad if you're working with paper crafting things. You can coil up a little bit of twine in there, maybe use some baker's twine, lots of different options. And I'm working with a jelly roll of fabric which is a two and a half inch wide roll of coordinating fabrics here at the show. And so this, you just lay them out and cut them in two and a half inch squares so it's not a lot of cutting. And we're embellishing a whole thrift store dress at the show. So all the flowers that I've made so far are on the dress and it's just been a lot of fun. Thanks, Tammy. Thank you. Then you can add a picture of the dress.